Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today I'm going to be Euro Nymphing the gunpowder in Maryland. Hopefully, we get on some wild browns, so let's get to it. There we go. Decent fish. First cast nymphing. I have a JDK Paragon on the top with a black nickel bead. He ate that. So I was one off this little log. This is a great little spot. Like I said, I have the JDK Paragon up top with the black nickel beads. I really like that. It's a little bit duller of a blue, which is really good for these clear water, lots of sun. Then a little copper bead waltz. Copper bead waltz just works every single condition. It's an awesome fly. There we go. Another little guy takes the copper wall. Pretty little guy. There we go. A little bit better one. There we go. This little guy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Ah, this little guy. <laughs> What? <laughs> he just ate it while I was dangling there. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> That's a pretty one. I haven't even set the hook, so bring him in quick. Wow, that's a pretty fish. Wow. <laughs> It's a good hook set, even though it didn't even set the hook. That's awesome. There we go. Good fish. As soon as it hit the water. Trying to keep him out of that tree. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Definitely a good fish. Nope. Oh, right yeah, nice fish. There we go. Good fish. <laughs> Jumper. Hate the old JDK Paragon. Pretty fish. Little guy. He ate the halter. Most of them have been eating the JDK, but Smaller ones seem to be eating the wall. It's interesting. There we go. Good drift through there. After a lot of casts, finally he ate it. 
<sighs> Come here. <laughs> oh, he ate the wall. Pretty, pretty bitch. There we go. Oh, that yeah. <laughs> Little brown. Sure, a bunch in this head of the pool. Uh, he definitely wrapped everything up. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I'll retie. <laughs> There we go. Good one. It's hard to keep them out of this tree. They definitely know where it's safe. <laughs> So I just worked down there in the bigger holes and caught a bunch of fish and I did see definitely a few rises and I have seen a few bugs, I've seen some caddis and I've seen some yellowish mayflies. So I put on a yellow caddis. <laughs> I combined the two. I don't know if that'll work but it should. Also I have a two mil France beneath it. There we go. First one out of the little earthly water. Pretty little fellow. Very orange fin. JDK Paragon. I switched it up. I wanted something a little bit flashier. Just got another little brown out of the shallow stuff. Wasn't really expecting another one to be honest. I've said this before, but whenever I get into a longer flat or water that isn't as deep, I always like fishing the dry draw first so I can fish further away. And it just suspends the nymph at the correct water depth. I mean, here I have a long piece of water that's pretty much all the same depth. So I haven't had to change anything and I just put a little bit of floating on the dry after every fish and it's pretty good. There we go. I took off the dry so I can fish this head of this, I don't know, riffle looking thing. Just single nymph on the bottom and he ate that. Pretty little brown. There we go. Nymphin. Put on the double nymph rig again to fish this deeper water. Pretty fish. Nice looking brown. There we go. Right in front of this log. Won't let him. Fair to gun. Last on this walk. Little guy. Kind of brown? I think so. No, rainbow. I was gonna say, it looks a little bit different. Nice rainbow, wow. Nice looking rainbow. I think they stock the rainbows as fingerlings here. So I'm gonna guess he was a little fingerling stalker, but they look pretty much wild by that size. Nice 
my thing, bro.